And I think that that's the biggest thing is that there's a lack of self-trust that is happening over and over again. Because if you truly trusted yourself and you let go of all of the meaning making machine that you mean about like it, it, you know, if I did this and it didn't work out, that means I'm a failure or this or that, or I can't face people. Or if you're needing it to go a certain way in the outcome to be this ripple effect to lead to the certain outcome, or you're fearful that this incident or that could happen along the way, what are you really saying? You're really saying that you don't trust that you can figure it out while you go through it. You're really saying that you can't trust yourself to learn as you go. Yeah. And if we step back and we step back into ourselves, and we stop taking ourselves so seriously and we know that we started out not knowing how to speak. Some people speak many different languages. They walk, they talk, they, they ride, they play all these skills. Like at a different point in your life, at everybody's point in their life, it was okay for you to learn and grow when you trusted yourself that if you put yourself into a classroom or a course or whatever, that you didn't need to know all the answers and that you could figure it out and you could learn and that you believed that with effort and energy and, you know, time, you would learn and you would grow and you would trust that you could do something. That's the biggest thing that's missing and that went away. And I don't know where And you know, I feel that the more that there's fear, the more that that is, you know, I don't trust that I can be healthy. I don't trust that I can do this. I don't trust that I can figure out a solution. I don't trust that I'm going to be okay if um, I don't live here. I don't work at that job or if I don't um, if I don't have that relationship. That's what's running the show. Yeah. And that's taking up 90 percent or more of the energy. That that prevents people from taking those leaps. I don't trust that if I don't have this regular paycheck that I'm going to be able to pay my bills. It it boggles me sometimes because it'll be like people that like for 50 years of their life, they've always been able to trust in themselves. You're the one person, you, each person is the one person you can count on and bet on as you. Yeah. How? We know ourselves better than anyone. Why why isn't people betting on themselves? You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. You know, there's not a person that's listening to this that hasn't went through a massive heartbreak, maybe experienced death, um, uh, had something and a massive betrayal happen, had to figure out and pivot in their life in some way, shape or form financially, had to go to the ends of not knowing how they were going to pay one bill and rob Peter to pay Paul. There's anything has happened to everybody. And guess what? You did it. You made it through. You're sitting here listening to this. Like, if you could do it like then, imperfectly, you could... yeah, <laughs> imperfectly. Oh, see, look, we're see? getting a little. Uh, that was not a perfect thing to happen on a podcast. Actually, yeah. can we see what is it? So, can you read that? Because it looks like it says "dream big," which is sort of hilarious. Because this is about yeah. how to take action steps. Yeah, it, it, says, say? it says "dream big," use kind words, say "I love you," laugh, giggle, be silly, share, say please and thank you, be grateful, keep your promise, help others. Don't whine, take a moment to breathe, try new things, keep calm, and carry on. Laugh out loud. Awesome. Yeah. So back on the top. <laughs> no, I love that. And it's it's so that's that's a reminder for anybody that's listening to the audio of this. So there was a sign hanging behind Christina's head that just like flew off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like it it was <laughs> um, yeah, and it said all those lovely things on it. Um, but I love the try new things. And so a lot of what you're saying too sounds like it has to do with basically like you saying people don't trust themselves. One of the things that comes up a lot um, in our industry is the feeling of safety, like feeling unsafe, like people feeling unsafe, I think, to take 
action on some level, even if they don't realize that they feel unsafe. So they don't trust themselves um, slash they don't feel like they don't feel like something is safe or it's unknown. Like yeah. they don't know what it's going to be. So, um, which is, you know, really, for somebody, go it's, ahead. It's, yeah. no, no, it's, 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 it's ironic that I see this a lot that people get like this, they get worse the older they get, right? <laughs> and, well, more trauma. <laughs> well, yeah, going. more trauma, more pain, more di- disappointment. But sure. But, but when you think about it, how much more do you know? How much more life experience do you have? 